The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanophage, the disease of transition, a digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one, the great decimation. The West killed the East, the East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic, a crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, we endured, and so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression, a despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds of your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me to access you to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozelski. I'm an observer. And that's the game we're playing today, Observer. I think technically its name is Observer underscore, but whatever. So this game was made by the same devs that made Layers of Fear. Except that this is uh, very sci-fi, as opposed to Layers of Fear, which was the exact opposite of sci-fi. So, we're going to play it and we're going to see how it is. I've heard it's basically a walking simulator, but I mean, so was Layers of Fear, and I quite enjoyed that game. So, we'll see how it is. As soon as it loads, which is probably going to take a long time. You there? Hmm. Come in, Lazarski. Can we uh, turn the resolution up on real life a little bit? Lazarski, you there? We got a bit of uh, artifacting on reality, which is probably a bad sign. Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream eater treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Ha! <laughs> Hardy are. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Oh, fuck dialogue. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Wow, that was convincing. Take your meds, detective. I need you clear-headed. MMB. Middle mouse button, I'm fucking stupid. Oh, hmm. Nice, just a big old drugs button right there. Oh god. There's a controller plugged in and it's uh, not happy about that. There you go. Looking better already. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Oh, now it's you gone. The headlines. Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just. Yeah, yeah. There's something just a little bit off about the main character's voice. You know, vo the voice acting. Like, something about it just doesn't quite sound right. I can't quite put my finger on it. What's this about? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Oh, Jesus. Nah, Future. No one left for you to interrogate. That sounds pretty bad. Yep, it's not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Uh. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Covering your tracks, I mean. No. Oh, what's going on? Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? 
Don't you recognize me? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where, where have you been all this time? Away from you? <laughs> it's funny. I thought it would be easier. To hear your voice after all these years. But... It really isn't. Come on, Adam. Don't start. <laughs> I really thought I could pull it off. You know? It was so close. To making a difference. To setting us all free. And now it's... <laughs> Can't be for nothing. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are. I'll come and get you. Shit. Dad. For once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember. You're not in control. Adam. Can you hear me? You still there? Adam. So did that actually happen Dad? or not? Matriarch, display caller ID. Displaying now. I mean, I guess there's a call, or a caller Adam ID. Binsky. That's no. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Is it the place that's still on fire? Coordinates. Come on. No, Location not quite. Established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit bottom, huh? Rock fucking bottom. So, like, did that really happen? Like, why did the world shut off while that was happening? I mean, I guess, like, there was a caller ID, so... Although, maybe that's what we heard, but it was actually just, like, the staticky dad, dad, over and over again. And we had this whole thing going on in the mind. What an edgy opening cutscene. Have you seen this? Oh, it's so gritty. It's so cyberpunk. Hmm. That guy's got a thing in his throat and he's drowning in blood. Ooh. Ooh, cyber eyes. Technology is bad, probably. I'm sure that's what the moral of the game will be. I'm all for it. As soon as I get the opportunity to turn into a cyborg, I'm all in, baby. Why would you want to be just like a lame, fleshy human when you could have pistons for arms or some shit, you know? It's very dramatic, isn't it? Really likes the name of the game, doesn't it? That's like the fifth time it's shown us it in the first like ten minutes. Those those numbers mean a lot to me. Oh fucking hell. Um, can we turn down the AR just like a little bit? This is Frankly egregious. What's up, potato sack robot? With the vacuum cleaner? What? Hold on, I'm looking at your droid. It's really, really dopey looking. What's going on? Oh, you look beautiful. What's up? Look at that. What seamless cybernetics we have. Well, that's Easy awfully rude. Tin man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh, tenant. W wouldn't you know? You seem like you work here. No? I don't live in this dump, if that's what you're asking. Fucking rude. State your business. Oh, um... Just visiting. Just visiting a friend. Friend? Uh, name? Probably shouldn't give the, the real name. Rabinsky. Leon Rabinsky. Tenant. Oh, apartment seven. Uh, oh, ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. 
Straight ahead, third and right. Yeah, I got it. Back with him forward. Thanks. Mm. Door open. Thanks, champ. I'm getting the impression that our our man Daniel here is a little bit of an asshole. Oh my god, it's everywhere. Attention citizens. Curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your cooperation. Man, as soon as the corporations get in there in the future, it just all turns to shit immediately, doesn't it? Turns into a fucking police state. AR, oh my god, it's so over the top, like what is the point of any of this? Well this shows you the type of outlet on the, on the power, so that's pretty cool actually, so I guess it's all worth it in the end. Highlights all the cables on the floor, so I guess you can't trip over. What's like, growling? You heard that, right? The growling? Am I going the right way? Yeah, eight, so seven's here. Yeah, here we go. Door's just open. That's not very, what's? All right, so this is, uh. I jump. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess we moved it, good job, us. Nice Michael Jackson jacket. Oh, someone's dead. Adam? Oh, he's very dead. He's very extremely dead. What the fuck's going on? Fucking windows are locking down. Dispatch, this is Nazowski, ID 656210. Can anyone hear me? Why are we going into lockdown? It's not him. Doesn't have to be. It's hard to tell right now, you're right. Operational efficiency restored. This is Lazarski 65621 setting up a crime scene. Okay. Electromagnetic vision. Ooh. For connection. Is this the compass? Six million volts. Wasn't enough. Oh, it's a stun baton that's busted up. Okay, is that the compass? HN. Gotta start somewhere. HN? Okay. Missed call, HN. What's that? Victim is equipped with an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn. Well, He's missing his head, so it's already probably pretty hard. Oh, fucking hell, look at how future this is. Alright, that told us exactly nothing. Great. ID check failed. Time of death about an hour ago before he called me. Well, that's a good sign. Erratic cutting pattern. Indicating the killer was in a frenzy. Um, what I actually see is that something went rake right across its chest, but, uh, and then also took the fucking head off for good measure. The head was removed post-mortem. It's possible the killer took it. Motive. Unclear. It's possible that the killer took it. Possible. No guarantees. Can I open things? Oh, I can. Fuck, is any of this important? Oh, we got a thing? Over here? In one of these drawers? Hey, what is it? It's an identity card for Adam Lazarski. Incorporated. High level clearance. Looks genuine, but it's expired. Lazarski is his real name, right? So... Also, I guess now we gotta look like through every area three times to make sure we've seen everything. What's going on with this? Collateral damage or evidence disposal? It looks fairly deliberately taken apart, but I mean, whatever. I guess I'm not the detective. What we got in here? 
fantastic. Yeah, we got a lot of tech in it. Do we have a flashlight? Oh god. We do not have a flashlight, but we have night vision. Which, I mean, I guess is fundamentally the same thing. Well, what's this very suspicious... Printed on real paper. Oh, an archaic for you. Look at that. Oh. George Orwell. Oh, the future's taken over and everything. These important. Nope, alright. Okay, so, yep. Yeah, uh, let's just give it a look over. Don't see anything else. Well, except for, like, all of this. Oh, stuff went, have, stuff went on over here as well. Let's look at this blood. Is this blood more insightful? Fucking isn't. What the fuck do we have in here? Claw marks. You're only just now figuring that out? I figured that out from the claw marks on the dude. You know, the killer may have also taken the head. You know, we're not sure. What's this? Oh, shit. Drugs? Sick. So clearly labeled. Oh, what was that? Fucking nothing, I guess. No, nothing in the bathroom? Oh, ignored. Ignored. Oh, sometimes it baits you in. It shows, it's like, oh, something's here. Nope, get close to it, it's not there. Alright, what's going on in the kitchen? Okay. What is this? Let's scan it. Okay. Controlled substance 45F. Better known as feed. You've never touched this, Gwen. I don't know. There's like a big jug of it right in the fridge right there. He might touch it. Go through all... No, none of that looks particularly important. Is that important? Nope. Um... You never cared about the um, data storage. What am I... The encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. I might be able to decode it later. What even is this? Per Chiron Inc. Young Talent Fund. I can't fucking read it. It's it's too it's too little. Well, apparently we found a data storage unit, so good job. Good job, team. What else we got? We got something here? What's what's this? Bing. Okay. Um, well, uh, hack. Yes, please, please do. Great. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Four. I got it. Watch this. There we go. Seen that suspiciously placed book right over there? What the fuck's happening? Okay, I, I guess we've stumbled our way into an XCOM base, uh... Okay. Oh, it's, it slides. With, uh, incredible pop-in! It's okay, it's, uh, it's a future holographic device, so it's just, it's, uh, it's loading it in, not the game. Right, yeah. So... What's this? It's a fucking computer. Tragic event or insurgent attack. Well, uh, we're about a block away and I seem to be in an insurgent's office, so I'm a little suspicious. This one's they know with two exclamation points, so you know it's really serious. Listen, I know you're a busy man and all, but we gotta talk. Now. I think they're on to me. For real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday, and today I saw this weird guy outside my window, just standing there, menacingly. If you can't guarantee my safety, then I'm out. I got enough problems as it is. Wonder if this is the decapitated guy over there. Cause that'd be fun. Uh, it signed HN, and he had a missed call on his compass from a HN, so... Probably not that guy, but that'd be really funny. Oh, you can't guarantee my safety, and decapitated the same day. As far as our little... As far as out, little mule goes. I found a typo. Uh, as far as our little mule goes, don't worry, I can manage her. She's not like us. She knows she's in over her head, and it clearly terrifies her. You can't expect too much from a simple mind. How fucking rude. 
Uh, for now, just focus on your work and leave the human relations aspect of the project for me. For our, for the time being, calm down and maintain focus. Eyes on the prize, J. P.S. Glad you like the piece. I think it captures the essence of what we're trying to accomplish. So is J the decapitated guy? May, who knows? Whatever. Great. Awesome. Incredible. Great. Well, that was really insightful. Home security. I've deactivated the apartment security system, leaving the crime scene. Oh, I, mean, I guess the windows did, like, shut down and everything, so that was probably the security system. Oh, shit. Dude, we got drugs. How we doing for drugs? Oh, my, we're out of control. Good for drugs. Does this mean we should take some drugs? I'm gonna take some drugs. injected. Strain level decreased. Good job, team. Alright, so, uh, anything else going on in here? We looked at all of that. Um, that was a thing in the drawer. Is this something? That was the processor. Ignored. Alright, anything on the bio? Alright, we out, Ski. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's... Oh, that's probably how you're supposed to find the security turn. Yeah, because it all feeds back over there. I see. Well, I solved the puzzle already because I'm the absolute greatest in the world. So, um, don't worry about it. This just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. I know it. Well, we didn't find his body, apparently, because, oh god, what's happening? Um... Uh, what's happening? Oh, it's a lockdown procedure. Okay. Good to see the whole apartment can do this. So, are you gonna calm down? Are we good? Are we good? Oh, pigeons. Alright, so that was a fucking violent lockdown. God damn, apparently it took fucking forever as well. We were in that room for like 15 minutes. Come outside and... Well, this is absolutely wonderful in here. Come outside, the lockdown is apparently still taking place. So... Great response time. Really, no evidence in the bathroom. Well, I mean, there's evidence of something in the bathroom, but not something we're interested in. Some weird looking pigeons. I was starting to wonder if that one was real. Uh, so, um... Let's start asking the neighbors what's going on. Hello? Oh, is this a communal kitchen? I can see it's very well maintained and that we have great respect for each other in this apartment complex. Uh... What do you want? Got a minute, sir. KPD. Oh God, they're here! The cleaners are here! You're under arrest? Um... Okay. So, uh... That's the one we were just in. I'm stupid. What's this dude got Nokia Hi, for? This is Tom! And Irene! <laughs> We hope you're having a positively peachy day. I hate oh, them. we sure do. Sadly, we're not in right now. <laughs> but you can leave your message after the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as we're home. Yay! Oh, I mean, beep! <laughs> uh, yes, this is Daniel Lozinski, KPD. Uh, just so you know, you're under arrest. I'll be back later. So, question, right, um, why do they get to have a Nokia on the front of their door? Secondary follow-up, why does their door get to also be a safe? Out of curiosity. That was, um, not particularly insightful. What about this one? Wow, they're both holocom panels, damn, interesting. Why do they get to be so special? Whatever. Alright, well... 
I mean, this door opened ominously, so I kind of feel obligated to check this area. God damn. That would be an absolute nightmare to sort through if you had to fix something, wouldn't it? Tech support in the future must be an absolute fucking nightmare. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to climb into the fucking Tower of Cables and tell me if anything is loose real quick. Uh, alright, let me just get on my fucking spelunking gear and I'll get right back to you.